So I know it's been a while, but today I want to talk about my top picks for the best budget CPUs of early 2020. Let's get into it. I know budget means something different for everyone, so I picked out four different budgets and I picked the best processors under those budgets. The budgets are $25, $50, $100, and $200. This list focuses most on gaming performance, but all of my choices would be great for video editing as well. First up is my pick for the best sub $25 gaming CPU. So for this budget, I went with the E5 2620. It comes in at around $10. It has six cores, 12 threads, with a two gigahertz base clock and a 2.5 gigahertz boost clock. You can get one of these on AliExpress, although ordering from AliExpress might be a little difficult with everything going on. It uses the X79 platform and DDR3 RAM. You can get a CPU, motherboard, and RAM combo for under $100. Usually you can't expect too much for this price point, but for $10, this thing is an absolute steal. The next price point is $50. I found it really difficult to find anything that I really recommend right at $50, but the CPU I recommend the most under this price point is actually only $25, and it's the E5 2620V3, coming in at about $25. It has 6 cores, 12 threads, a 2.4 GHz base clock, a 3.2 GHz boost clock, and you can also find it on AliExpress. It uses the X99 platform and DDR4 RAM, and you can also get a CPU, motherboard, and RAM combo for under $150. The next price point comes in at $100. There's actually two CPUs I can recommend, one more than the other. My top pick for under $100 is the Intel i3-10100 or 10100F. The only difference being that the F model doesn't have integrated graphics. So if you have a graphics card, it shouldn't matter. It costs $99 and it has four cores, eight threads. It has a 3.6 gigahertz base clock and a 4.3 gigahertz boost clock. It's not overclockable, but it's a great gaming CPU even at stock speed. You can get these brand new on Amazon or Newegg for under $100. So if you're on a budget and you don't want to buy a used CPU, I think this is the best option. I also wanted to give an AMD option because there's an awesome upgrade path. So my other pick is the Ryzen 5 1400. It has four cores, eight threads, and it comes in around $90 on eBay used. It's really difficult to find new first gen Ryzen CPUs, but the Ryzen 5 1400 is the only one that comes in under $100. It's a bit slower than the i3, but it's overclockable, so it kind of makes up for it. I still recommend the i3 10100 over the Ryzen 5 1400, but it's a really good option if you wanted to get into the AM4 platform for the upgrade path. The last and highest budget that I'll cover is $200. For this price point, I also have two picks. My first pick is the i5-10400 or 10400F. It comes in at $160 on Newegg or Amazon, and it has six cores, 12 threads, with a 2.9 gigahertz base clock and a 4.3 gigahertz boost clock. My next pick is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600, coming in just under $200 at $199 at the time of me making this video. It has 6 cores, 12 threads, with a 3.6 GHz base and 4.2 GHz boost clock. Once you overclock the 3600, the i5 10400 and the Ryzen 5 3600 are really close. I would pick the Ryzen 5 if you're looking to upgrade in the future and you're comfortable overclocking, but I would pick the i5 if your budget is really tight and you're not comfortable overclocking your computer. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I appreciate it every single time. If you dislike the video, go ahead and leave a dislike. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.